Murray came in with concerns that are pretty typical for you know the aging face. Just when you look in the mirror, something doesn't look right. It doesn't you know? I don't look the way that I feel. And so when you look at the face, he actually has some of the typical signs of aging, which is the upper third of the face is kind of relatively collapsing and getting smaller. And this is the reason why the skin uh, starts to get a bit loose. It's because it's deflated and the volume underneath the eyes and the cheek looks less and so it looks hollow, although people typically perceive seeing bags. Now, as we know, as the face is aging, the upper third is shrinking and the lower third is usually kind of getting a bit bigger. Uh, and so Murray is a very athletic guy, very healthy, and he has really strong jaw muscles. And so on him, uh, uh, it actually accentuated the aging process by making the lower face seem even wider. And so because of this, we opted to do a combination of procedures that would try to help bring the face back in harmony in a more natural way. And so what we did is an upper blepharoplasty, removing some of that loose skin, a lower blepharoplasty where we took some fat from inside his eyelid, moved it, and did a little pinch of skin to tighten the skin. But really most importantly, we harvested some fat from elsewhere in the body. And we used that to inject the lower lids, cheeks, the temples, and the brows to try to volumize the upper third of the face and bring it back into harmony. Murray's recovery was pretty standard as it is with most patients that have eyelid surgery. There's typically some bruising and swelling for the first few days uh, and that typically starts to get better every day after about day three. Fat grafting actually starts showing its effect at about six months and that's when the face really starts glowing, if you will. Um, we're really happy with his result. It looks subtle, he looks masculine and you can tell that uh, the face just looks a bit better but you wouldn't tell exactly what happened which is always the result that I like.